Welcome back, everyone, to another incredible episode of Chat with Dan. For today, we have Anna with us. Anna, how are you today? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. Um, tell me, how's your day? How's your day so far? How's everything going before Christmas? It's going pretty good. It's kind of crazy trying to get everything done. Right. Before Christmas, but it's been good. I love it. That's pretty cool. All right. So, um, so yeah. So as I was saying, welcome to the show. And um, you know, starting straight to the to the, to the uh, interview here. For those who don't know who you are, please tell us who is Anna. Um, well, I'm currently living in Louisiana, and I have three brothers. I'm the only girl in my family, and I also have a pet rabbit named Coconut. She was okay. just here, but I moved here because she was eating straw, so that would have been loud. <laughs> but Absolutely. yeah, I'm a senior in high school and currently doing dual enrollment too, so that's been really fun. And yeah. All right, that's pretty cool. Now, before we start, let me just give you a, a quick heads up. Uh, heads up. I live with three dogs, so sometimes it tends to get noisy. So just giving you, you know, a uh, quick warning here. But anyway, uh, right. So um, right. So tell me where the whole journey through acting started. Um, it started about six years ago. I <clears throat> learned that I had to be homeschooled, and I really did not want to be homeschooled. But there was um, a performing arts center that was only for homeschoolers and they were doing the production of Annie and I loved the movie and watched it a bunch as a kid so when I was 12 I auditioned for it and I got cast as Pepper the orphan okay. so um, yeah first thing I'd ever done I'd been singing for a few years at that point I'm a classically trained singer and have been singing for almost 12 years so um, yeah I'd been singing for a little bit up to that point went and auditioned my first ever musical or acting thing and then they cast me as Pepper, so that was really cool and really fun to get to do that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where it all started. That's pretty cool. And tell me what ha yeah, like what were some of the challenges when you were, you know, making um, those first steps in your acting career, let's say? Well, I didn't really realize, um, like I'd never thought about performing arts or anything. Um, so when I got there, I was just having a great time. It was really fun yeah. and I'm naturally very expressive. So that kind of worked out and I didn't really realize like what a big deal that was to like never have done theater and then get like a supporting role like that. So now that I'm older and I've done stuff, I was like, wow, that's pretty cool that I got yeah. to do that for my first show. Um, so I didn't really kind of understand um, how hard it could be, but definitely, uh, going and continuing in different productions it has definitely been difficult sometimes to you know be with different people and audition and you always want like the lead role but you know you can't be the lead role for everything so absolutely having patience a good attitude and just knowing that you have one more thing for your resume another great group of people that you get to work with and do what you love and that your chance will be coming if you just keep um you know putting out great work and working hard absolutely and tell me like like how you how you usually prepare a character now we understand of course that depends on the role but what is your initial approach on this yeah let's say journey of creating a, a character well usually i like to read the script or even if it's just an audition i like to read everything that i'm going to be saying for the audition or for the film and really just kind of get a character or kind of get a an idea of who this character is mm. you know what are they saying you know what are they doing and just kind of the context of their whole situation um, and then once i kind of get that i definitely look at my life and see okay when are there times that i have been in that situation, you know, or had, you know, said things like that. Um, and then also just, you know, maybe it might be a little bit different too than things that I've ever done in my life. So that's really fun because um, I get to add a little bit of myself to that, but also, you know, try new things that, you know, maybe I wouldn't normally be doing. Absolutely. And I find pretty interesting the fact that, as you mentioned, the fact that you can learn either new things or, or be, or try to, yeah, like what I'm trying to say here is that I find pretty interesting the fact that you are able to learn new things. And at the same time, as you're playing this character, you get also the chance to kind of discover a little bit of yourself as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. And that's something that's also really fun is just not like hiding yourself behind the script or behind this character, but really like infusing every part of yourself in this. And that's something that also is kind of hard in the casting process because you never know what they're going to like or what they're not. Absolutely. And so really taking different phrases and really like if I was in a situation being like, um, in this audition, this character is doing this thing. And like when 
you know, if I was doing that personally, what would I be doing? And like adding all my own personal nuances and voice and different, you know, emotions and characters to this character is also just a really fun thing to do to just dive deep and figure that out. Absolutely. I mean, at the end of the day, you want to make the character kind of a uh relatable relatable as possible right i mean you want to make the uh, and and at the same time I, i find pretty cool whenever you are watching show or film or even um on a play as well that you get the that you care about uh, a character right i mean as we the audience we suddenly care about this character we so we are totally um uh want like don't want anything bad to happen and i find pretty like pretty cool the fact that you can get this connection of it you know like at the same time it is, it is a connection that you are creating for us to see so that's pretty cool yeah and that's something that's like really important to you because just something i've heard a lot as an actor is you know i mean every person is getting the same script you know so it's Absolutely. really about you know are you putting yourself in it because this character you know is going to be a real person and so just making sure that i do it differently but also really just bring myself wholly to the character um you know because that's that's how it becomes real and then Absolutely. you know you're not hiding and being like oh no what would this character do and like i don't do those things and like you know i'm not this character and just keeping it separate which i think can be a problem absolutely and tell me what are some of the things that you um yeah that you enjoy the most when you are in this process of creating a character um i really enjoy when the character is a little bit different than me and just some yeah just different things that they're doing or portraying that's really fun for me to kind of imagine myself doing those things and like what would i do in this situation so that's really fun and just kind of getting to like step into like a different person and that's really what i loved about musical theater because i've played elsa i played fontaine and les mis wow, okay. so those are like two really big contrasts but um it's just really like I mean, with Elsa, it was like, I get to be a Disney princess, but she also has a lot of issues going on. So having yeah. all of that pressure and then with Fontaine, like just going like down in the dumps and like, it's it's hard for Fontaine. It's, Absolutely. it's really hard and I'm not a mother and have never been in any of the situations Fontaine was in, but really, you know, developing that and really getting to know the material really well and the circumstances and even just doing research on like what time period is this happening in and what was like the norms for that and really making sure that I add that in and do my research. Absolutely. I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's amazing. You know, the whole crafting as for some people might think, which is just learn your lines and you're good to go you know i find pretty cool the whole process behind it and i find also pretty interesting that every actor has like their own thing that it's not like on a specific manual or how or on how to do it you know for example uh with some of the actors that i've interviewed some of them will you know go to go to the park you know and try to see people others will go on the subway and basically just stay there until their character comes so they can you know check it out so i find pretty cool also that there is no manual to it that you get the chance to like um create your own thing and i find that pretty freely you know as for new upcoming actors to be like you know what the uh, what's important is for you to create your own thing you know what works for you so yeah and that's something that is really really a key thing to learn and really uh stay true to yourself in that of you know when you're trying to copy somebody else first off that's not you so it's like it's gonna seem off anyway absolutely And just also, um, it might not work for you. And so you might just not be getting auditions or roles or just really feel weird about the character. And that was something that I um, had going on with like the second musical I was in. I was singing popular for my audition song from Wicked and I listened to it a ton of times and then I went and sang it for my mom. And she was like, that's great, but you're singing it just like Christian Shedwith and hmm. you need to like you're not her and don't try to be her so you need to sing it in your voice not her voice yeah. and i was like 13 at the time so then i was like oh yeah like i totally am singing it like exactly the same way she's doing it so i sound like her and then once i kind of like just put myself into it and wasn't trying to be her and was just myself then that like you know that completely changed it because also it's like if people wanted to see the original actor doing that they would go see them And so you can't be like, I have to be exactly like them because that messes you up. And it's just kind of weird, <laughs> I feel. And, and the yeah. audience can tell, like, why are you trying to be exactly like her? So that's something you got to, like, use 
use comparing to help you in your research and like learning a song you know you have to learn it from somewhere but just not like trying to copy them mm -hmm. yeah because as you mentioned the fact that if you are not gonna like honest with yourself about it the audience will immediately you know check it out and sometimes i mean we we could totally tell either uh, on a play uh, play tv show film when there was this character that it that it looks that it was forced you know that it was that i mean that that there is something about it that just don't click regardless of how interesting the character might be but there's something about it that it doesn't so yeah and it's interesting because we can all tell i mean you can tell when you meet a fake person a real person when someone's Absolutely. like insecure or faking being happy around you you know because you know that they really don't like you like you i mean people can tell and that's one of the things that you do i mean just key things in acting because people can tell and that's you know even if you do book the role you know it'd just be interesting to see you know the ratings that you get on that and just what people who watched it thought of that absolutely and um uh, moving on here like what advice could you give to future young actors you know like based on on your experience so far what advice could you give probably to be yourself don't compare yourself and really don't give up because those yeah. it can definitely be hard some of the things that i like was a little bit hard for me i've only been doing film for about the past year or so wow. and i've done musical theater for like five years so that's a big jump acting yeah time, absolutely um and so the thing that was kind of the hardest for me was um just all the waiting there mm -hmm. like this past summer there really was not a lot of auditions that i could even submit to and then um just the, also the crazy thing of like you submit to it and you get invited to audition and then you audition and then you like you just don't hear back you don't hear back if you didn't get it or if you do get it and at least with musical theater like you see the cast list Absolutely. you know if you didn't get it um and that was just the other thing of like really wanting to get every role that you have but also having to just move on be really grateful that you got the chance to audition for that but continuing on with your life because <laughs> that's the other thing if you don't have persistence but it does show you immediately if you're gonna yeah. be make it or not because some people would just be like i can't do this and that's fine you know that's great it helps you see where you want to go but for me that was kind of just a little you know thing that i had to learn of like they're not going to contact me if, if i didn't get it which was good because a few times they did and um i was really excited when i got the message because i was like you know you only get messages if you book it and then it no. was uh, we're sorry you didn't get it this time but we'd like to work with you in the future which yeah is great too but just continuing even after that because every time you audition that's another chance for them to see you and another chance to show so even if you're not right for this role they might even like make you a role you know because they liked you so much or you know keeping you in in their mind for different projects or friends friends projects so that's mm. just one more chance to be in front of them and just show that you know what you're doing and you're professional and that you would be a great person to work with absolutely i mean it's it's I mean, what I have discovered as well is the fact that, like, handling this part in which you don't book a role, it tends to get a little bit challenging after several ones, you know, that you have audition and you still have no call, that it it gets into a moment that it feels... I mean, you start to question yourself, like, uh, like did I... Uh, was it good? Like, perhaps I did this wrong? You know, like, there's so many things that you let your mind... Yeah, like, you, you let your mind into this... To this bubble let's say like toxic bubble that just make you feel like okay uh maybe i'm not good enough then you start battling yourself i mean it's horrible i mean I, i do think that at the end of the day if you love it enjoy it and of course that there are going to be moments in which for example you don't book something but i do think that, that that is part of the whole experience right to kind of at the same time develop like tough skin let's say for you to now to understand like okay it's not personal you know uh totally it looks like I wasn't meant for the role that's fine the proper role will come uh, eventually so yeah that is definitely I mean and you really can learn quickly if you're going to yeah. make it because it's I mean it's a business and that's something that a lot of people might not know is it is it's professional it's hardcore it's a craft it's not just like some random thing and definitely feeling that am I doing this right because I booked something like my first two months of starting film mm. and then i didn't get anything for like like oh my gosh like six months 
And so I was like, I just really want to be in something. And that's definitely where like my faith has definitely helped me. Cause I was like, I just, I really like want to know if I'm supposed to be doing this and I want to yeah. do something. And it was just really cool. Cause I was just really feeling not like down in the dumps, but I really wanted to be on set again. And it was so much fun. And it had been like months and months and then just praying about it. And then like all of a sudden this NBC role comes up and cool. I book it and like it's crazy then I get to go to Georgia and be on set this past summer so I was able to do that so that was really fun but just really seeing those moments where I'm like oh I feel like this is not you know yeah feeling good and then something coming up so yeah really absolutely cool. I do have also discovered that whenever I get like this thought in my head that should I quit like am I good enough on this suddenly something comes up like yeah like literally something comes up and i'm like okay then i think i'm gonna i'm gonna keep staying so it's pretty cool whenever yeah. you have like because i would take it as a sign you know telling you that you're on the right path just keep going you know keep pushing so yeah that's definitely what i felt and i was um i'm almost 18 and so it's been definitely hard being so close to 18 but yeah. still not 18 so i'm a minor my parents have to come with me and it's all 18 to play younger and i was just really this was like only like two months ago i was just really feeling it and like oh my gosh yeah. i want to do this so badly but there's nothing here and we're just really praying about that and then all of a sudden like a feature film comes to the small town that i live in that's pretty and cool I'm able that's pretty cool like be a pa on that set and like just do anything in film so now i have a bunch of connections from that and just great people that i got to work with um and just at a time that i really needed <laughs> something to yeah. just you know kind of re revive me and just you know make me excited about this um again because it's hard when you haven't done it for so long you're like i just want to be on set i just absolutely wanna... absolutely And, you know, I find super cool the fact that you get the support from your parents, you know, and that like every now and then when you have to go, they will come with you, you know, because at the same time on this platform, I have discovered that that uh, that sometimes when you're new, you're I mean, you don't know anything about it. You're naive. And sometimes you will meet someone that tends to be good one, you know, or tends to help you. But at the end of the day, it doesn't, you know, so it's really cool. The fact that you get the, the support from your parents who actually are backing you up and making sure that everything is good, you know, and and all of that because as i said i mean you you never know and especially i uh like in this type of industry you know with acting music you know like the show one that yeah. it tends to be with really good not people really. but at the same time not very cool kind of fake people as well you know yeah it's definitely a fine line there's definitely yeah. a lot of great people and there's definitely some people that you probably wouldn't want to work with again and i have been so lucky my parents have just been so supportive of me doing this i'm officially taking a gap year so i'm not going to college yeah. and i'm just really gonna be 18 in a few weeks um and just really be able to to just start this and they've been they've helped me with so many self tapes you know driven me you know hour mm, like yeah. 10 hours um you know all all over the place to get to set and have been with me and stayed with me and like set up a lot of things and have just really encouraged me and i definitely know that that's you know something special because a lot of people i mean even if they're not going to be a doctor if they're going to be like something else you know that's not you know in the art and film industry mm. definitely i have i know people whose parents are you know not supportive and like it's just a hobby and you need to go get a real job and mm. you need to all of these things and pressuring them and making them feel like horrible so yeah. i'm just i mean my parents have been so supportive and helped me every step of the way to make sure i was prepared for things to help me um succeed at things and have good equipment and good um i mean just everything that i need to just yeah. do my best and that's been really like a blessing yeah absolutely that's amazing that's super cool i remember back when uh, when i was 18 17 and i told my parents that i want to start in the whole music industry dj and everything they almost you know they they almost kicked me out of the house but anyway that that's for another story but it's but my point here is that it's really cool the fact that you that you have that support that um that basically back uh backing you up in uh in everything and at, and at the same time they're helping you so you can continue properly on this acting uh, acting world let's say you know so that's pretty cool yeah it's definitely i mean it's so great to have just great parents who look out for me and who are going to make sure that i'm on a safe set or you know and they just have me for anything that's happening so i don't yeah. have to just be like solo in this world and being so new to it too absolutely just, i mean i can do anything you know when i have a strong support system and also you know 
I don't have to support myself yet, like, you know, in financially. So that's really cool too, because I don't have to feel all this pressure to like yeah. money and book it and then lose all of my love for it because I had to do it to survive. So that's like really a great thing. Absolutely. But that, that's amazing. Wow. Now let's say, you know, one day Netflix, HBO Max, Disney Plus, you name it. They call you and they tell you that they got this idea about how, about how could you describe your whole career but on a film at the moment like how would you call it let's let like let's say that how would you call this film like the title of it mm -hmm. um i'm just gonna say like three words like three descriptive words okay so i can't really think of a good title um it'd probably be um i wrote it down probably be faith persistence and family there you go i like it That sounds like a prequel, like a prequel, you know? <laughs> yeah, cool. I mean, cool. I could take you by, a, you know, a step by step, but that would take a very long time. So I, <laughs> I can understand that. I can understand that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, those val I mean, yeah, I think with those values, you can basically achieve everything. Yeah, and I yeah. mean, I've just been able to do so many things and I do have a backup college plan in case for some reason this doesn't work out and I do really love doing school and my parents have just you know supported me my whole life through everything that I wanted to do whether it was sports or school or extracurricular activities they've just always been right there yeah absolutely absolutely and like what motivates you you know we all have those days that we just want to quit you know it's and and I find pretty interesting because sometimes everything it's okay you know nothing bad is happening but then we get into this idea that uh that it's not that everything is just horrible so what puts you back again on this road that you are starting to build recently um definitely my parents <laughs> i have definitely had times where i mean luckily not too crazy or anything because i've only no. been doing this for a year and i know it's hard i think the best thing is knowing that it is that it, it it's not a super easy thing to do mm. so knowing that like even though i'm not booking things i'm still getting auditions which is a really great sign i'm still you know having all of these different experiences and building my resume and i got certified to use adobe premiere pro when i was 16. so just continuing to do that but also really um the thing that motivates me the most um i just draw from my experiences um a little bit in musical theater but really um because i was able to be in a few things really just drawing back to that and just how yeah. amazing and wonderful it was the people that i worked with and just you know the first thought of like oh my gosh like this is my job like this yeah. is what i do for work and i get paid to do this like that was just a really big moment um because when i think of a job you know it's you know just not that like this is like having a blast playing having mm -hmm. fun mm -hmm. and so really that's like what motivates me is drawing back on those memories and um just how excited i was and still am and just every time i get on a set i mean it's just it's a blast yeah absolutely i mean at the, I, at the end of the day when you are pursuing something you 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 want you love it tends to get complicated sometimes but i do think that is part of the journey you know that do that you need sometimes I remember I remember once told me that you need those kind of a uh, hard moments in order to really enjoy the good moments like the good ones you know that for example you will uh, um, audition I don't know 50 times you will not get anything but suddenly it comes one you know and it feels really cool like basically to enjoy those small victories you know and, and I find pretty cool the fact that I mean as I've been saying in most of my episodes before the fact that oh that what I have discovered is that acting It's the, it, it tends to be sometimes really hard, but I find pretty cool the fact that um, um, that, that that actors specifically are sometimes put into very, uh, very like vulnerable places in order to perform perfectly and to give us something, you know, either to smile, uh, get angry, laugh, whatever. So that's pretty cool. The fact that you want to, you know, take this journey and and knowing already that it that it might get complicated sometimes. But I do think that whenever you do something by heart, all of it you know uh, like all the good things eventually come like like piece by piece so yeah and i think it's really the things that are the hardest in life that you get the most joy from when they when things do work out when Absolutely. Things happen. because it's not um i mean it's not a special or rewarding when you like know you're gonna get it or you get it like consistently because then mm -hmm. it's not something that like you i mean like you just have so much pride and so Absolutely. much like, 
your work paid off you did it like you you kept going even when it was hard and then it it paid off and also something that i think has definitely helped me in, in this industry um since i've been acting for almost six years definitely having different experiences you know mm. i've had good experiences i've also had bad experiences so really like knowing what to look out for and really just knowing myself and having boundaries of like this is what I will do. This is what I won't do. These are kind of these are the kind of people I would love to work with, and these are the kind of people that um, are not going to be good for me. And so I think that was like just really cool having all that wisdom yeah. at such a young age because absolutely I had different experiences, and that's really helped me stay true to myself and just respect myself in that way. I mean, same with film. You know, really, there's like everything out there on film, and just knowing like what will I do as an actor and mm. what will I not do and just having that self-respect and having great people who also understand what I want to do so we can team up and just really make it great absolutely wow and now uh, my last question here is what can we expect from you in the future hmm. <laughs> many things oh, um, okay I post everything when I can, when I'm allowed to. I post it all on my Instagram, which is Anna W Film. Um, but yeah, have some pretty exciting stuff coming up. Can't say anything about it. Right absolutely, now. I get it. I mean, I, I totally get it. Please Definitely get it. bursting, and I, you know, it's been really exciting to share some of those things with my family, and that's why it's great to have family and close friends you can share the top secret things with. Um, absolutely. But yeah, hopefully, a lot of exciting things. Um, to be coming and I'm almost 18 and I've worked really hard to finish all my school this first semester so I can just like not have to worry about it and finish everything and I've just kind of been preparing this and finally almost 18 and ready to ready to rock and roll <laughs> there you go there you go that's amazing and I'm super sure that 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 like really cool things are about to happen in the future as I said I, I do believe that when you are honest about something and you and you do it you know and you're doing it because you love it eventually good things start to happen and as i said i mean it's really cool that like the fact that you know already some stuff here that you have some wisdom at a young age as, as you were saying so i mean it's always uh, super obvious that our next conversation is going to be uh where can i put this next award because the wall is full already <laughs> hit me on that that's pretty yes. cool and i do have great mentors that have really helped me so much just great people that have been in my life um just really helping me who've been in this for life like 30 plus years and they have been just a really like really great people who have helped guide me and like is this okay is this not okay because i'm new um with you know all of this stuff and just really having them help me that has been just so so priceless for everything that they have you know helped me through so that's that's really awesome that's amazing that's amazing i mean what can i say it's incredible what you do and i'm super sure that that incredible things are going to happen in the future it's amazing uh but i also want to thank those who watch this video thank you so so much if you're either either watching it here at youtube or listening in on spotify or apple podcast make sure to go follow anna like, like right now the video is over so i'm gonna leave in the description below her link her, to her instagram so you can follow her let's make her viral hashtag team anna because she's super cool and again anna thank you so much for making this happen have an incredible up upcoming christmas keep inspiring keep creating and uh i'll see you in the next one yeah, thank you so much. Hope you have a great Christmas. Absolutely.